Today on The Source, from running star to rising star, Tom Phillips discusses his pathway from rejected junior to MCG regular. Two magpies go in for surgery, and Nathan Buckley discusses jumper punches and areas of improvement. Round nine rising star nominee Tom Phillips was once told by the Oakley Chargers that he wasn't good enough. Well, today he fronted the media as one of the AFL's brightest young talents. Phillips won the time trial here at Collingwood when he first arrived in 2015, but today told the media that most of his development has come recently. For me personally, it's probably a work of um, a body of work over the last five, six months uh, since the pre-season um, hitting 2017 um, with a positive attitude and mindset. And, um, I've really enjoyed that and just seeing my game develop and grow and um, you know, still seeing a lot of work to come. Phillips had 24 disposals in an impressive performance against the Hawks on Saturday. However, it would have been doubtful if he'd be accepting a Rising Star nomination if the Magpies hadn't overturned momentum after quarter time against the Hawks. That was sort of a line in the sand moment and then we move on from now and um, try and just put in that consistent work. Like We know it's not going to work 100% of the time. Um, that's impossible. No one's perfect. So if we can make sure that um, we know exactly what our, what our roles are and our game plan and going into every sort of game focused and clear in our minds, um, we'll be able to keep performing. And it's a long season. We've seen um, teams fluctuate, the momentum shifts, those sort of things. I think if we can time ourselves and um, really come good in the next few weeks, you never know what can happen. There's no doubt Nathan Buckley liked what he saw from his Magpies on Saturday night. Today when he fronted the media he spoke about areas of improvement in the early stages of the season. There were key areas that, um, that were letting us down and why we weren't hitting the scoreboard quite as hard. We're still not, we still haven't scored heavily, um, we haven't been prolific scorers um, but we're still getting pretty good supply and, and we're, we're making better use of it so it's just that's one part of the game but as I said, we want to be really consistent with our defensive mechanisms in our contest and we fell down for a couple of weeks in there against Carlton and GWS in particular and our, um, it was a response in the last three quarters on the weekend. The jumper punch is a contentious issue in the world of footy at the moment. Buckley is confident with the matter in the hands of the AFL but believes it has no place in the game. I'm, I'm in the camp that, I mean, it's a cheap shot, a punch is a cheap shot, so remove the cheap shots from the game. Finally, the coach stated that James Aish will miss the best part of a month after fracturing his cheekbone against the Hawks. And it comes at the same time as GM of football Jeff Walsh delivered some bad news about defender Adam Oxley. Adam Oxley, who we know has been battling hip and groin uh, issues, uh, has finally succumbed to that in terms of uh, he also has had some surgery uh, in the last 24 hours. Um, that'll mean a fairly extended period on the sidelines. Um, you know, we'll, we'll keep you updated as we go, but we would expect that that's uh, you know, uh, two or three months at least uh, with, uh, with Adam, so it's disappointing for him. The full injury update is at collingwoodfc.com.au where you can also view the raw footage of both of today's press conferences. We've got some exciting AFLW news on the website as well with a number of new players set to call the Holden Centre home. Go Pies!